Yesterday, Bethesda released new information about Fallout 76 expeditions. The information was released through the Inside the Vault article titled Launch Your Own Expedition in the PTS. The article starts off by stating that they are planning to reopen the public test server so that we can get an early look at expeditions. This is a huge deal because this is not even part of the next update. Expeditions is scheduled to be released in the fall. Does this mean that we will get Expeditions early? Only time will tell. The article continues with the responders. With this update, the responders are now being given a proper faction as the people who have returned to Appalachia have decided to pick up where the original responders left off. As their ranks grow, they have taken up residence at the White Springs Resort. Here you will find the hub of their operations which is being called White Spring Refuge. When you head to this location, you will find the new responders and learn about their ambitions to explore and provide aid to settlements outside of Appalachia using a vertebird. The vertebird is not going to fly itself and it won't be going anywhere with a dead battery. To power the vertebird, you will need to charge up its ultrasight battery. Each day, you will need to visit the White Spring Refuge, where you will get three daily quests. Each daily you complete will award a percentage of the battery charge. Finishing all three dailies will fully power the vertebird, allowing you to do an expedition. This is an interesting way to be able to start the expeditions. Having to do a few dailies does make it a bit more difficult because it adds a bit more work to be able to go on the expedition. I was wondering how they were going to prevent people from just rushing through the new content. Starting or joining an expedition will kick off a new mission for you and up to three other teammates. The first mission, called Union Dues, will take you to the depths of the pit. The pit is currently fraught with a power struggle between the Union and the Fanatics. The Union is a group of survivors trying to rebuild the city. The Fanatics are a gang of raiders who want to take control of the territory. Our goal is to provide support for the Union and drive the Fanatics out of the Foundry, which the Union uses as their base of operations. Each mission will feature three randomized objectives for you to complete. While the theme of each mission will be the same, the random objectives are intended to keep the experience fresh. The more objectives you complete, the better the reward. So right off the bat, it would seem that you can participate in expeditions multiple times a day as long as you are joining others on their expeditions. This means that you can complete your own expedition and join others who go as well. The factions here are a bit stale in my opinion, but it does make sense to a degree. The Union sounds like a renamed Foundation Faction, and the Fanatics are just another Raider Faction. As I said, it does make sense since much of the group at Foundation came from the Pit. As for the Raiders, well, they are found all over the Wasteland and have been a mainstay in every Fallout game right from the start. Having random objectives for each expedition is good, as I do believe it will keep the missions fresh at least for a little while. It sounds like we don't have to complete each objective, however, doing so will give us better rewards, so I suggest getting as much done as possible. Since we are on the subject of rewards, you will receive XP, various loot, and a legendary item each time you complete a mission. If you complete all of the optional objectives, you will receive one of the many new pit-themed rare item plans once per week. These include weapon and power armor mods, outfits, camp objects, and many more. Some of the new items being introduced are the Auto Axe and Union Power Armor, but these are not part of the Expedition's rewards pool. Instead, those are unlocked through other means. At the end of a successful mission, we get rewarded with a few stamps. Stamps are a new currency being introduced with Expeditions. We can use this currency with Giuseppe at the White Spring Refuge. Giuseppe will sell you items from the pool of rare item plans offered by Expeditions. The more objectives you complete, 
earns you more stamps at the end of the mission. Only the team leader will earn the extra rewards. You will only be able to lead an expedition once per day, but you will be able to join others on as many missions as you choose to join in on. For playtesting purposes on the PTS, we will be able to lead multiple missions per day. When the PTS goes live, only the Union Dues mission will be available, but they are planning to bring a second mission later to playtest as well. So, if you own Fallout 76 on PC, you will be able to playtest the pit once the public test server goes live, and I encourage all of you to take part in it. All in all, this news has me both excited and worried. Some of the wording in the article makes it seem as though the Expeditions is not quite the large expansion we have been hoping for. However, since this is pertaining to the PTS, I believe the dev team is just giving us a taste of Expeditions during the PTS, but the live release will end up being larger. With all of that being said, I want to hear from you now. What are your thoughts on this news? Sound off in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, give a like, subscribe if you still haven't, and share this with your friends. It truly helps the channel, and I appreciate you all. As always, I'm just glad you stopped by, and I'll see you in the next one.